Hello everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will be learning about what's new in Spring 3.0 features. As a Spring Boot developers, we are always thrilled to explore the latest feature from Spring Boot community. Spring Boot has released the final version of 3.0 on November 22, 2022. Spring Boot 3.0 is built upon the Spring Framework 6 which brings several noteworthy changes that we need to consider during application development. We will use below features of Spring Boot 3.0. Spring Framework 6 is the minimum requirement for this Spring Boot application 3.0. Java 17 is the baseline version. We can use Java 17 or higher versions. Jakarta EE 9 is the minimum version. We can use even higher. And micrometer with implementing observability and problem details http exchange to exchange different microservices communication spring native in this tutorial we will delve into this feature and understand them better before we begin let me provide a brief overview of each feature spring boot 3.0 now support java 17 as a baseline Although it previously supported Java 17 as long term support version. Additionally, there are changes related to Jakarta EE. After the upgrade, Spring Boot 3.0 only supports Jakarta EE utilizing Servlet 5.0 and JPA 3.0 specifications. Moving on, observability is another important feature. By utilizing specific APIs or classes, you can publish matrices from your application. These matrices can easily be tracked and mapped in your cloud infrastructure tools like Zipkin and displayed on monitoring boards like Prometheus and Grafana. For handling HTTP specific errors, Spring Boot 3.0 introduces the problem detail class. This class allows you to map HTTP status specific errors in your project effortlessly. It simplifies the process of handling and presenting errors in a standardized way. When it comes to dependency upgrades, Spring Framework 6 and Spring Boot 3.0 have certain minimum version requirement. Ensure that you use Kotlin 1.7 or higher, Lombok 1.18 or higher if using JDK 17 and Gradle 7.3 or higher. Remember to keep these version requirements in mind when working with Spring Boot 3.0. Lastly, we will cover HTTP Exchange feature. It provides native support for declarative HTTP client interfaces using annotations such as HTTP method and at the rate exchange. This annotation allows you to define declarative REST clients with ease, similar to how Fain enable consuming the APIs. In the last option we will be exploring is Spring Native. Spring Boot continue to improve integration with Spring Native, enabling the creation of Graal VM native images for your Spring Boot applications. If you want to learn more on how to implement these features of Spring Boot 3.0, I have created a full course of Spring Boot 3.0 using microservices and Java latest innovations. So stay tuned to watch this course. 